What's up, buffet? To show buffet to welcome to another beautiful, fun, and exciting episode of Cars, Stands, and Less. I'm your beautiful, nice, good, fun host, Ngubi the Entertainer. Well, I want to say, let's 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 As I was saying today, we are here in Gauteng, Pretoria, Hatfield to be specific. And I am meeting our great good friend Stone with his nice beautiful car. It's a Volkswagen. Normally we have Volkswagen, but I have a special Volkswagen. You don't really see it on the show. It's the first time we're having this type of Volkswagen on the show. Before I say a lot, let's go and meet Stone with his nice beautiful Volkswagen. Arba. And we are inside his big beast. I want only space. The garden has a lot of fluid. Okay, there's too much headroom space. I feel to stone brawak. Oh no, no brawak. Jinsa. I feel the brawak. Hey Tara, nice having you on the show. Um, before we talk about your beautiful big beast and all of the technologies inside of here, people who wanna would wanna know. Nike out there. I'm future. I know you from way back. So now people wanna know who stone. How do we define stone? Let's say someone comes. In fact, I saw you in a nice caddy with this other guy. Who's that guy? What do I say? Explain yourself. How do you explain yourself? Ah, baraga nike no ba oche ngwe so yocha koka si koshero. We now and say, but your followers and viewers don't know me. <laughs> they try to hole. If they want to know more, they will comment on on the YouTube. So yeah, nagno karate la di koloi ba fe tu nonetheless. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, one thing ba fe tu stone always left sound. I remember sala go primary school. I went with him to pri go primary school. Ne, he was like he was the DJ guy, the person who. There was this group, they would go to his house and then they would go to So I knew Stone Arata music from way back. So this thing of music, he doesn't start now. So even this time, I'm expecting a lot of music in here, but we'll see. Stay tuned and we'll see a lot when we get there. So Stone, bro, let's talk about your ride. Hmm. Why do you cho choose this unique car? Because this car, it's not... Your normal okay Volkswagen we know people love Volkswagen because it's just Volkswagen but then people of our age they go for golf they go for polo they go for if they want Volkswagen they go for up when I went for this big car spacious car family car why did you choose this car uh, before this one I was driving another car which I cannot mention now because uh, this interview is dedicated to this car so this car <laughs> I always loved it from a very young age. So when I got an opportunity last year, 2020, around August, September, I went to buy it and then I uh, wonder, okay, there's my project car that will serve both my business and for my personal needs, which are car shows on weekends most of the time. So that's why I chose this car. It fits or it, uh, it accommodates both my needs business and personal personal life so you are currently happy with the car and what it's doing for you yes i'm very happy proper so my to this is something one skill you should learn you must know that if you are gonna buy a car buy a car that can serve you socially and can serve you in your working environment like your business wise when you're going to work and all of those things it should help you both sides don't find that when you are a bricklayer and then you are buying a, 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 a volkswagen up how is it going to help you, Roba? How is it going to help you? Buy a bike. Buy, get a bike or 
club cap, something of that sort. I think Stone did the same with this car. So yeah, Stone. Uh, but to watch stands, you love stands. Yes. You attend stands shows. Yes. Yes, I let begin. A beginner. Yes. Ah, so more is still gonna happen to this car. Yes. Hey, KD, you're still gonna see you. So we'll have a second episode and see what you did. So perfect. Stone, I'm gonna go straight to the rims of this car. Mm. They are so big, so huge. Why did you choose this specific rims? Um, where did you get them? How did you know they would suit this car best this way? Tell us uh, uh, through. Take us through that. Okay, so these rims, I got them maybe about three weeks after getting the car. Mm -hmm. And I got them from uh, this other dude, Kojo Beck. He was running them on his M3. But unfortunately, the car that he was driving, I don't know if he sold it or what. So I bought these rims because they were unique. And then you don't usually find them on the streets. I had another alternative, which might be on the second episode of this. <laughs> which is also scarce, especially on the 19-inch on... A VW KD. So, in terms of uh, the tire profile, I went for I think it's two 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 five thirty five nineteen because it was a perfect fit, and then you can't go lower than that. Uh, I wanted the two one five, but they told me that I'm going to struggle if I want if I get into a punch or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So I struggled a lot to just get those two and five. So hence I settled for two two five thirty five nineteens. 35 so which means it's very small this time it's like 35 guys so pothole why is he Esh, uh, one of them my brother eh, he disaster when i approach them i make sure or come around uh slow down that's why if there's a uh, uh, roads that are not even i switch on my rear fork so that the rear person can always stay a nice distance away from me <laughs> so you're chasing them away yes Oh wow! Yes, did, did this car come with that feature, or you added yourself? No, it comes stock. Uh, the rear fox they are stock. Wow, nice, nice. So, with the the the, the rims, the, are these the first rims you ever had on this car? Yes, the ones it came with the steel is uh, the silver ones. It was uh, I think it was fifteen inch. Mm -hmm. uh, they're sitting in the garage now. So I bought this ones, and then uh, this is my, basically my first aftermarket rims on this car are you gonna put back the steelies when you sell this car or are you gonna no i'm gonna keep the car don't worry oh okay so so you don't need the steelies if you need steelies those steelies 16 inch are you selling them no i'm not selling them oh. i'm gonna stretch them <laughs> it's gonna be my plan. <laughs> guys i was trying to hook you up but he already has a plan seems like stone has a plan for everything that he does he doesn't just act yeah i try i see bro so this car is very spacious it's very very spacious and clean i can see it's clean and I'm being welcomed by speakers here. I can see speakers up here. So you added the sound here. You changed. You added or changed? Uh, I basically added the sound. It only came with the radio and the two door speakers of which I took them out and then I put in the aftermarket. So the original speakers in here, they're out. This, what, what's in here, it's new. Yes, it's an aftermarket speakers. Why did you change them? Is it? Did you upgrade? Yes, or? I upgraded okay cool i thought maybe you just changed it because you just no, didn't want no, no, the no. ones which came with the car but, but the radio the, the 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 infotainment here i can see it's still the same yes are you uh, comfortable with it or are you still for now we're still happy because uh you know some sometimes when you go to shows or whatever people just come and check but if you see a stock you don't even think that the car plays until it starts to play oh so it's a it's 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 a surprise some a, a surprise factor they don't expect uh, yeah. sound to be in here but when you start playing yeah it roars yes okay cool tell me about the music set sound setup because we can see that we're already seeing meets here and take us through the back and what's happening that side okay so in terms of the sound that's in here where i'm playing with the two dds uh, 615 uh, they're playing on a monoblock of 24,000 and then the mid-range I'm running um, on Ice Power Pro Series, I think it's 7.2 for channel. And then uh, at the top here, it's the Pioneer 500 watts and the 280. And then on the doors, it's DD 6-inch uh, and then the DB drives on the dashboards there. So, okay, you also changed this these yes. ones there yes there was nothing there it was just empty for different models they they are there but for this one it uh -huh. didn't come with them 
So you removed this dashboard stone and now it's, it's it's a quick fix. It's just to pop up. <laughs> yeah, people who know a lot, and they say, "Ah, it's a quick fix. You can just stop it." But should I try it? It's a tender for the rest of the week. Yeah. So, I see you have two big subwoofers that back there. Mm. So, are you saying that you don't need that space here because they are occupying that place too much? Half of it. Yeah. Trust me, I can carry a lot of load from this car without having to even tilt my seats. Wow. Wow, so this car is really big and it's working for yes, you. It's working for me. Right. So I can see the car is very clean. Yes, viewers can you can see this car is very clean. It's very clean. Nothing, no nothing. There are no kids who are playing in here and stepping on the seats. Yeah? So or maybe we had a perfect timing and came when it just it's just from the car wash. Most probably. <laughs> so with tell me about your amps because I didn't see any amplifiers in here. Yes, unfortunately I won't be able to see those ones because uh we have mounted them on the roof and then on as the you can the see there's a cover that covers mm -hmm. them so you hit them there yes we have so the connection them. runs so the connection the if i can the power cable is going through the roof mm -hmm. and then going down here and then going there and straight to the bed wow. and then the audio cables are doing the same but on the right hand side that's a very awkward position if you put them there we expected to see cables running around so you never touch them you never adjust you know those people who are just there hey bright good yellow neighbor and then they are there with their screwdrivers ah uh, with the right installer i don't need that don't need that uh -uh. so did you do it yourself no nope. uh installed it for audio traction mposa hey guys this mposa is trending <laughs> on this channel make sure that you check this video and check what mposa did check this video here you see this this link yeah, click this and then you see Mposa, what Mposa did for the, for CB there. He also did it here for Stone. Mm. Wow, Mposa, you're doing the best, brah. Shout out to you, shout out to you. So, tell me about, uh, do you, uh, did you edit the performance of the car, anything else? No, uh, I'm not really a fan of... Uh... on 1.6 so you you don't you didn't even change the pipe like people some people nope. change the pipe and then it's, it's louder you understand no nope. you don't get tempted to do those nope i'm not into that one thing we also you said you have stunts one thing we also noticed that is that this car it's still on the same ride height it came with so are you not thinking that you're gonna lower it or you're not feeling pressured or you just love your car the way it is finish and plan uh for now, maybe in the couple of months, that's when I'll lower it because I'm still trying to find the right lowering kit for this car. I don't want to just go to a shop and only find that or I bought something that's not going to work for me on the road. Yeah. Because I travel a lot sometimes and you don't want to have problems for whatever reason that might be. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm taking my time when coming to my suspension. And making sure that you are safe. Yes. Cool. But I, uh, you said a mouthful, you said a lot and... Ah, guys, I hope you learned a lot from Stone that you can actually join stunts, but not lower your car. He's been attending a lot of things, a lot of shows. If it doesn't suit you to lower your car, don't. You can still be in stunts, put in mag sound. He loves sound. He's clear that he loves... I know he likes sound. There was no way he could. his car could not do what it's doing right now. So, Buffett, Stone, bro, I think we are done. Now we talked a lot about your car we've learned a lot and we're still gonna see you on the show when you do some other edits in future so from now on buffet to from me and stone we are signing out with don't forget that if you want to be on the show you can be on this show just send an email to cost and slash at gmail.com that is cost and slash at gmail.com or alternatively send your a whatsapp message to this whatsapp number written below here and then we will reply immediately immediately asap ask him we are replied him immediately asap and we make sure that we meet and make things happen, Buffett. From me, you could be the entertainer, and stole. Bah! Bye bye!